I once did an exercise. And I challenge any of you to do this exercise. When I was in high school, that one year, a lot of things happened. I decided one day in ninth grade, I'm not going to talk the whole day. This wasn't some tiniest debor. This wasn't a religious thing. The reason I did it is because I was 14. There was no reason. I just decided I'm not going to talk the whole day. Besides if a rough would speak to me or tefillah or whatever, if I like the rough. But other than that, I'm not talking the whole day. So we go ahead. This is, uh, make this very clear. All boys yeshiva, we go ahead, we daven. When we finish davening, when we finish davening, we all sit down together at the round table with Arthur. And we're sitting down together. What are a bunch of 14-year-old boys discussing by breakfast? Gone. What? Okay. I heard some answers. I'm not going to discuss them. We actually were talking about world hunger and starvation. We were talking about Iran's deal. And perhaps we were also talking about things that we shouldn't be talking about. Now, I remember that somebody said something. And when they said it, I had this immediate reaction to respond. But because I wasn't talking, I didn't respond. And I did something at that moment that I don't think I had ever done before. Some might claim or again. That is, the thought bypassed my mouth and went to my brain. And I thought before I spoke. And I then thought to myself afterwards, why would I have said that comment? It, 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 it's not even funny. It was just not, it was, wasn't right. And I went through the day and I noticed that I'm going to be nice to myself. 50% of the things that I would have said were either inappropriate, they were Lashon Hara, Motsi Shemra, Rechilas, negative. Let's be real now. It was about 90%. I'm being real, 14 years old. What are we talking about? Just quick, rapid fire. It was an eye-opener. How many things do we say? Do we say? And sometimes we feel we have to say this because if we don't say this, then it won't be said. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. You're right. It won't be said. And as we many, many of us know, we've heard the line before, the cemetery is full of people that thought that without them saying something, the world can't go on. Believe it or not, we're going on. We're going on. And the world can continue without you saying that. And I would even add, not only can it continue, it might only continue because you didn't say anything. You see, a person has to stop and realize, if you don't want to build the world, that's your choice. But at the very least, don't destroy it. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.